Hello, my name is Mike. In this video we're going to show you how to create an interactive product configurator with Asperian Creator. We're going to use a model that we're going to import directly from Google Warehouse that was created in Google SketchUp. As you can see, we've already got uh, Asperian Creator open. Uh, we've got a very simple scene with a, a simple floor and a simple skybox using uh, a bit of clouds. What we're going to do is we'll toggle over to Internet Explorer, where I've already done a search for some cars. And we're just going to pick a car. I'm going to pick this yellow one here. And to bring the model into Asperian Creator, all you simply have to do is just grab your model, drag it over, and drop it into Asperian Creator. You can just press the OK button, and our car will be imported. Now, you can see we've already got a, a real-time reflection on here um, that's part of the, the floor shader. The materials on the, the car don't look quite as good as they could, so what we're going to do is we'll improve the materials a little bit first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically uh, grab a basic Fong shader and drop that on the, the car. And you can see we get a little bit more highlights on the, the body and, and it just looks a little bit smoother. Let's improve the rims a little bit by adding a little bit of chrome to those. So I'm going to go over here to Metals. Let's select a chrome material and let's drop that on the, the rims. And then we've got a little bit nicer reflection on the, the rims and it also picked up there on the exhaust pipes. When we publish this scene out, we're going to give it to somebody who may not necessarily know how to navigate the scene. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a little um, a UI helper. So to tell the, the end user what the controls are. And I'm simply going to go to my UI elements here and I'm going to drag and drop one of our smart objects which automatically controls how the view is going to react and it gives the tooltips to the user. That can be changed to any type of image that you might want. So when we hit play we can see that the controls work just as they're described up above. So we want our end users to be able to change the color of the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the material color changer onto the scene. And I'm just going to drop it on whatever part of the car we want to be able to change and then I can move it wherever I like. Let's go ahead and put a couple on here because we want to change the car to multiple colors. Now they're all coming in their default blue color but we'll change that here in just a second. So Three colors ought to be good. Now let's take and make these different colors. So go over here and we'll select the different little color swatches there. Let's make one a yellow and let's put one back to the red. Say OK. Now when I press the play button I can now interact with the scene and if I want to change the color of the car simply just select the swatches and the colors of the car will change. Now the last thing we want to add to this scene is we want to predefine some views that the user can can jump to when they're interacting with the scene. We're going to go back over to the Asset Browser, and this time we're going to insert a Camera View Smart Object. So I simply just bring it in, drop it in the scene, and you can see it, it takes a little snapshot of the current view and saves it in that little thumbnail. Well, let's go ahead and pick another couple views. We, so we want the user to look at it from this direction. So we'll drop in another one. And let's say we want the user to look at it from the from the front, and we'll drop in another one. Now when we press the play button, we can not only change the car's colors, we can rotate the scene any way we like, but we can select the predefined views by simply selecting on the little swatches or little thumbnails that we added, and Asperian Creator will adjust the view accordingly. Once the scene is finished to your liking, you can either publish the scene to a standalone uh, executable, which requires no viewer, or an EXP file, which does require our viewer, or an ActiveX control, or even a screensaver. I hope this video showed you how easy it is to create interactive scenes with a Sprint Creator uh, using different models from different sources. Um, thank you for watching.